Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to find out whether a card is clicked. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and let's create our very first variable. And in this variable, we are going to grab all of our memory cards, all right? So I'm just going to call them cards, and we are going to say document. Dot, what better method than query selector all? Because we have 12 cards, all right? So we are going to say memory dash card. All right. So after this, what I want to do is I want to provide some initial values and I want to create some initial variables and we are going to change and or toggle the values for these um, variables throughout this project. All right. So first off, I want, uh, first of all, I want to create a variable that is going to say card uh, is flipped. And notice that I'm using let not const because uh, down later down the project, we are going to change the value of this. And whenever we do const, we are not gonna, going to be able to do that. That's why we are going to use let. And initially, I'm going to set it to false because whenever the user starts the game, no card is flipped because the user has not clicked on any card and when the user clicks on any card then we want to we want to grab this card is flipped and we want to set it to true okay as opposed to false initially it is false but when the user clicks then it is going to be true and we are going to initialize, initialize, not uh, define. We are going to initialize two more variables. The first one is first card, and the second one is second card. And I'm not going to give them any values. And this is very valid in JavaScript because we are just going to initialize them and the values, they're going to come later, all right? So now the first thing that I want to do is I want to be able to loop over all of the cards. So I'm going to create, I'm going to grab our cards and we are going to do our for each. And in here we are going to run a function. Now the for each loop loops over all of the cards. All right. Uh, from card number one all the way to card number 12. And uh, the loop variable, which is also the function parameter, is going to be card. All right, and we want the card to have an event listener and we're listening for a click because when the user clicks, then we want to flip that card. All right, so this is, uh, I think I, oops, what is this? <laughs> that was misclick. I think I talked about this in the drawing app, if I'm not mistaken, and a couple of uh, chapters back that uh, we, whenever we go ahead and we apply event listeners, we usually in real world scenarios, what we do is we call the function here or we write the name of the function and we create the function separately. If, if the function has very few lines of code, you, you could do it here, but professionally you should separate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on top and I'm going to create the function flip card. Right. So now this is our function of flip card. All right. I'm not going to pass in any uh, uh, parameter in here. The first thing that I want to do is I want to show you something, even though officially we have not uh, started talking about the this keyword, because the this keyword classifies as advanced JavaScript. We have not reached our advanced um, chapters. Whenever we're done with these uh, beginner to intermediate level projects, then we will uh, go ahead and start the advanced JavaScript chapters and advanced JavaScript projects. But the this keyword is very crucial to imp implementing this memory game. So I'm just going to give you uh, an idea of how it works. So in the context of this flip card, the this keyword refers to an, any element inside the game that has been clicked. So it is going to give us that. So let's go ahead and let's console.log that element or the this keyword to see what the, this keyword is going to give us. So this is our final project, all right? And this is the project that we're working on. Notice nothing works. It's not functional yet. 
So let's save it. And whenever I click on this card, we are going to see that we are going to see that the this keyword gives us exactly that card. That's why the this keyword is very, very crucial. So if I click on this card and if I hover over it, it says curious cat. And it means that this image, this, this is exactly what I clicked on. So I'll click on this one is exactly that one and this one. So the this keyword allows us to track where the user has clicked, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And whenever the user clicks on any card, which is the value of the this keyword, I, I want to add a class to it. So I'm going to say class list dot toggle. Now the toggle method is going to add that class if that class is not present. If the class is present, it is going to remove that class. So we don't have to add and remove it manually through two methods. We could just use toggle and the toggle is going to take care of it for us. And the class is going to be flip. I think we have specified the class of flip. This is the flip class and it does transform rotate y 180 degrees and it gives us a perspective. So now the, these images, they flip but they do not go back, all right? So there is still a lot of functionality missing. So now we have been uh, able to successfully flip uh, the cards. Now we should make sure, and not, now it is the stage where we want to know whether uh, it is um, the first click by a user. For example, let's just go ahead and close this and come here. So this is our final product. Now there is a lot of logic behind, this seems very simple on the surface, but uh, behind all this, there is a very strong logic that I want to explain thoroughly. So uh, whenever we refresh the page, it means that this game starts fresh, right? And we want to make sure to find out whether or not this, this, this is the first click by a user or the second click. So whenever I click on this image and when we see this cat, it means this is our first click. And when I click on this image of this dog, it means this is the second click. Notice when I click on another card, we are not allowed to do it because whenever two cards are flipped, the third card is locked. We are going to get to that functionality later in, in this chapter. But for now, we want to know whether the click by the user is the second, the first click on a first card or the second click on a second card. We want to find that out. So for that, because this is program logic, we are going to use if statements. So initially the card is flipped is false, okay? And when we say when the card is flipped, let's go ahead and write it and I'm going to explain it. So when the card is flipped, it has a value of false. And when you add a not operator to false, it means that it is a negative and this is a negative. All right, so negative times negative, it means it is going to be positive or true. So this condition is going to evaluate to true. When the card is flipped is, is false and it has a value of false, false times false, we are going to get a true. When it is true, it means, it means that this is the first click on the first card. So we are going to grab our card is flipped and we are going to set it to true again. This is a not operator. It negates everything that's in front of it. The, the in front of it is false. And when it negates a false statement, we are going to get it true. All right. And the first card is going to be equal to our this keyword. Because the this keyword is the card that the user has clicked. We know that. And now we want to call that first click our first card very simple all right i'm going to um create the um the else statement as well and we are gonna uh, uh wrap up this lecture and we are gonna pick it up where we left off in the next lecture so when the user um uh, clicks this statement evaluates to true that's why we said the card is flipped true and the first card is the this keyword or is the value or is the card that the user has clicked 
And in any other scenario, we want to say that the card is flipped is false. It means that when the first card, when the first card is flipped, then after that, when it is flipped, we want to do this. But when it is not flipped, flipped we want to go back to its original state when the card is not flipped. And this time, the second card is going to have the value of the this keyword because at first for the first card the uh, for the first card when the value of the this keyword was assigned to the first card the card was flipped right true and when it is false we want to add that this keyword to the second card all right that's it for this video see you guys in the next one